Want to learn how to use Twitter? You've come to the right place. I'm Jessica from techboomers.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to use all of the features of Twitter, including how to create a tweet, how to add pictures or videos to your tweets, how to retweet someone else's post, how to check your notifications, and more. Now let's get started. The first thing you'll need to do is log into your account. Open your web browser and go to twitter.com, then click Login. Enter your username or email address in the first text box, and enter your password in the bottom text box. Then click Login. Let's get into how to share a tweet. To create a tweet, click the text box at the top of your screen labeled What's Happening. Then type in what you'd like it to say. If you'd like to mention one of your friends in a tweet, type the at symbol followed by their username. This will tag them in the post. If you'd like to add an emoji to your tweet, click the smiley face in the bottom right corner of the text box. Click on an emoji you like to add it to your post. Your tweet can be up to 140 characters in length. When you're ready to post it, click Tweet. This will post your tweet to your Twitter profile and be visible to anyone who follows you. If you'd like to share a tweet with a photo or video attachment, click the text box at the top of your screen to compose a new tweet, the same way as you normally would. Once the tweet window expands, click the photo icon to attach a photo or video. Locate the file on your computer, then click Open to attach it. Type in the text box if you'd like to add a caption to the image you attached. When you're done, click Tweet. You can also share GIFs in your tweets. To add one, click the GIF icon when creating a new tweet. Then search for the type of GIF you want to find. When you see one you like, click on it to attach it to your tweet. Want to get your friend's opinion on something? You can run a poll on Twitter. Here's how. Begin composing a new tweet as you usually would. Then click the chart icon to add a poll. In the top text box, add a question. For example, you could ask, which is better? Then add however many choices you'd like to have in the poll. Your question and poll choices can only total up to 140 characters, the same as a normal tweet. Choose how long you'd like the poll to last. You can have voting open for as little as a few minutes or as long as seven days. Your friends will be able to vote for their favorite option and you'll be able to see the results. If you'd like to see how your followers are reacting to things you've posted, check out your notifications. To do so, click Notifications at the top of your screen. Here, you'll be able to see when you get a new follower, when someone likes one of your tweets, or if someone retweets one of your posts. You'll also get a notification if someone else mentions you in one of their tweets. Looking for new people to follow? Check out the Who to Follow section on the right side. Click the Follow button beside a suggested Twitter profile if you'd like to follow them. Click View All to see more suggestions. You'll be given a list of accounts Twitter thinks you'll enjoy. Scroll through and click Follow beside any accounts you're interested in. You can also search for specific people if you have someone in mind that you'd like to follow. Click the search bar at the top of your screen and type in the name or username of the person you're looking for. Then click the magnifying glass icon. When you see the person's profile appear in the search results, click the follow button beside their name or click on their name to open their full profile and check out their posts. You can check out posts from people you follow in your Twitter timeline. On the main Twitter homepage, you'll see posts from others. Scroll down to see older posts. If you see a tweet you like, click the heart button to like it. If you want to share that post with your own followers, you can do so. This is known as retweeting. Click the arrow button below a tweet if you'd like to share it. If you want to add a comment, click in the text box above and type in what you'd like to add. 
Then click Retweet. To reply to someone else's tweet, click the speech bubble icon that appears below it. A new window will open, allowing you to enter your reply. Type in what you'd like to say. Add any attachments if you'd like. When you're done composing your tweet, click Reply. If you're curious about hot topics or want to see what's popular, check out the Trends panel on the left side of your homepage. You'll see a list of popular topics and hashtags. By default, the trends you see will be tailored by Twitter according to what they think you'll find most interesting. If you want, you can change your settings so that you see trending topics for a certain area. To do so, click Change. A new window will open. Click Change again. Then type in the location you'd like to see trends for. Once you've selected a location, click Done. To see news stories or get caught up on current events, check out the Moments tab. Click Moments at the top of your screen to access it. You can view top stories from the current day or select a more specific topic like news, sports, entertainment, or fun. Click on a story to read more about it. If you'd like to have a private conversation with one of your friends over Twitter, you can do so. Click Messages at the top of your screen to begin. A window will open showing all of your previous Twitter conversations. To start a new one, click New Message. Then type in the username of the person you'd like to chat with. Keep in mind that you'll only be able to chat with someone if you both follow each other, or if they have their settings adjusted to allow anybody to send them a message. Once you've entered their name, click Next. Now you can enter what you'd like your message to say. Click in the text box and type in your message. The same way you can with the tweet, you can add an emoji, GIF, photo, or video. When you're ready, click Send to send your message off. When you're all done using Twitter, you'll want to sign out of your account. To do so, click your profile picture in the top right, then click Log Out. That does it for this video on how to use Twitter. Thank you for watching! If you found this video helpful, we'd love it if you'd hit the thumbs up button below. Check out techboomers.com for over 100 free courses on all of today's most popular websites and apps.